In other news, Parliament has criticized a directive by the Kenya Revenue Authority and the Kenya Ports Authority to have all imported cargo transported from Mombasa to Nairobi via the standard gauge railway. Lawmakers say the move will kill the transport sector and urban settlements along the Mombasa-Nairobi Highway. Consequently, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Muturi, has directed the CS for Transport, James Masharia, to appear before the Transport Committee of the National Assembly Thursday to explain the move and that was not subjected to public participation as is required by the law. Our Patrick Amimo has the very latest. Mvita Member of Parliament Abdul Somad Nasir raised the red flag and requested the House to adjourn and discuss the SGR cargo transport order as a matter of national concern. This followed media reports that the Minister of Transport has decided to railroad importers into SGR from Wednesday. Sometime last year, all government agencies and departments were directed through a circular from the head of public service to transport all their cargo from Mombasa through the standard gauge railway. There now seems to be a push by the government to have all cargo received at the port of Mombasa transported on the SGR. This is of concern as it is currently unclear how much railway levy is being charged per ton of goods transported. Members were quick to criticize the directive which the ministry claims will improve cargo handling at Mombasa port and the inland container depot in Embakasi. Okay. There are Kenyans who have invested in the transport sector. So, Speaker, this country is a free, liberalized economy. You can't just wake up and say that uh, your, your container must be carried by SGR. What about if you want to carry your container and drop it in Voi? The government cannot force the people of Kenya to sanitize a project that probably is not paying for the cost of investment. And, Mr. Speaker, when SGR was being constructed, there were doubts, there were issues which were raised, but they were ignored. So now the government cannot turn around, Mr. Speaker, and force people to use SGR to be able to break even. From Mombasa to uh, Machumbi to Nairobi, towns are dying and businessmen cannot uh, continue. So we are not only talking about transporters, we are talking about business along the way. We cannot, we cannot only concentrate on the SGR and forget that we have roads, forget that we have small business people along the road. The move to have importers use SGR is likely to drive 20 container freight stations in Mombasa and hundreds of truckers out of business and also lead to job losses. It is more expensive to, to, sh to transport a container from Mombasa to Nairobi using SGR. Now, if you went to ICD, the ICD is already clocked. The containers are too many. Even if it's giving this order that uh, the, all of them come through SGR, so where will they be handled from? We now look at the clearing and forwarding companies that are now being told to shut down because of the fact that their clients are headquartered in Nairobi. All these clearing and forwarding companies will shut down with an employment base of thousands of Kenyans Members now want to grill the minister. That the cabinet secretary appears before the transport committee on Thursday at 10 o'clock. Kenya Revenue Authority does not take instructions from the CS transport. And he is a co-owner of this directive. Speaker, it's good that you say the, the Commissioner General of KRA and the CS or his representative or the CS for transport to appear before the transport committee. When he comes on Thursday, he should come with the evidence on how much, because nobody's telling us how much is being paid on the SGR and where the money is coming from. Patrick Amimo, KTN